Amazonians. This is King Echo. King of my people. The spiritual leader of Amazonia. Welcome to the mind of King Echo. Amazonians, the way forward is unity through through diversity. If you look at the people of Amazonia, we have so many tribes. Those tribes gives us our diversity, makes us diverse. We have the Bali tribe, we have the Bakosi tribe, the Wum, the Batibo, Bakro tribe, Bayangi tribe, Ejagam tribe, so many. I can't list all of them, so many. And you if, you, if you keep thinking of unity, unity speaking with one voice. How can we speak in one voice when we are all different? Just look at, just if you look at one tribe, the tribe of of Manu, which you have the Bangis and the Jagam and some other sections of, you know. The Manu tribes are not united. They can't speak with one voice. You have some of the elites who are against the struggle. And then you have most of the people who are for independence. So we can't speak in one voice. Just like the ARC and the interim government can't speak with one voice. We must allow diversity. We must allow other opinions. We may not like it, but that's just how the democracy works. Unless we, you want us to, you want Amazonia to be like the like public where you have no option to speak. Then this goes, this question goes, what are we fighting for? What are we fighting for if we cannot be diverse, if we cannot, you know, be ourselves? If you look at um, members of the ARCC, some of, those, some of the members, they have been fighting for this struggle for over 30 years. Some will say, oh, you might, they might say, oh, you have been fighting for over 30 years and they couldn't they couldn't globalize the situation. They couldn't globalize the fight of of Amazonians, but because of what they did, because of the years they put in, the Amazonian struggle has been globalized. They helped to keep the the fighting spirit of the Amazonian going to the point where the interim government, or which is also which was Skakuf. Then, you know, turn into the interim government. Took it to this, you know, took it to an a globalized mo- phenomenon that the entire world knows of. Anglophones who are fighting for their rights, for their rights as citizens, for their rights as human beings, for their rights to live a free and independent way so respecting diversity and respecting others opinions is the only way we can move forward in this struggle it's the only way you can't say um the arc uh, uh we can't listen to the arc because they are like La Republic, but they are not like La Republic because they are fighting for the struggle of Ambazonians. They are fighting for our rights. Let them fight in their own way. We may not just only have one group. Or some people all say, oh, it should be just one voice, one. No, but they are 8.5 million. You can't expect that 8.5 million Southern Cameroons will not have different opinions. The world doesn't work that way. In, in, in every country, there are divisions. Division is not necessarily a bad thing, it's just how you look at it. Division of ideas. Not everybody have the same idea. Even your wife, 
even you and your wife, your wife ha has her own ideas of the, how she wants things to be. And you also have your own ideas, but you bring those ideas together. And then try to live the life that you want. It's the same principles. But La Republic don't, don't see us as a people. They see us as slaves. So they trample over our rights. They use all types of methods. They use fear. Has ARCC done that to any citizen of Ambazonia? No. They haven't because they are fighting for the freedom of Ambazonians. They have put in their time. More than 30 years. Some of them are putting more than 30 years in this struggle to make sure that the spirit keeps going. We have all contributed in our own ways and we should contribute in our own ways because we are Amazonians, because we are Southern Cameroonians. And we should not concentrate on the number one enemy of all Amazonians. The number one enemy of ARCC, the number one enemy of interim government. And I'm happy that the interim government has decided use military power because you cannot win a revolution we cannot win a revolution without military power you cannot win a revolution without having a guerrilla war you cannot win a revolution without having some kind of military and the biggest fraction that is fighting for the struggle of Ambazonia. In the past, believe only in, in the, believe only in diplomacy, and have used so much money, wasted so much money, on diplomacy. They they they, they got lawyers, international lawyers, and they were paying these lawyers, but at the end, nothing came out of that. Money wasted on issues that, you know. If they had come on board, see the fact that the only way forward, as they have finally realized that, realized is using military. The only way forward is using military when the when the military of La Republic are dying in the numbers and they don't have any soldiers to protect their country. We will win. So the way forward, Ambazonians, those who are supporting ARCC or those who are supporting interim government, I'm supporting both. I'm for both. I'm for Ambazonia. It doesn't matter who is the head. I'm for Ambazonia. Ambazonia forever. You know what I'm saying? That's what I believe in. Because without having a country of our own, will be floating around the world like lost children. People will be running out of their own land. My uncle had to run out of it. He was jailed. After he had an opportunity, he ran. Why? Because they're out to kill him. So many. Ambazonians are running. So many Anglophones are running out of the country because... They are, the Francophones are out to kill because that's the only way they think they could control the outcome of this plight by putting so much fear. But we cannot all run out of that country. We cannot run. We cannot all run out of our land. The land we're born in. We can't let French Cameroonians push us out. So how? What do we do next? Military. Dif there are different types of strategy. Getting all the parties involved. There are other French countries in Africa that are suffering in the hands of Franks, just like us, Ambazonians. Because that is the biggest issue we face. Franks. Franks have decided to send Chadians 
who they also enslaved. Charles are paying, are paying taxes to France, just like Cameroon is paying taxes. Cameroon paid three point, I think three point six six billion CFA in two thousand and twelve alone. Money that is supposed to be used by Cameroonians, but they pay them for nothing, and that's what. 14 countries in Africa are doing. That's what they're doing. Because they have no option. They, they are afraid to fight. But their others, the citizens are rising and fighting the government. But that would go nowhere if you don't send out the biggest issue in Africa. The biggest piece of shithole in Africa, which is Frank's. France is a country that should not be welcome in Africa. We need to kick France out completely. But Amazonians can't do it alone. So Amazonians need to Africanize the plight of Southern Cameroon and get all the other 13 countries involved because they're going through the same shithole. Same shithole that France has put us into. So to win this war, Ambazonian, to win this war and have a country does not depend on diplomacy, but military might, military power. That's what it depends on. The interim government must create a military and put on the ground. The ARCC must create a military and put on the ground. We must grow our military and take over our territory from the northern zone to the southern zone. The two governors controlling our zone must be eliminated. It's not about arresting them. We don't need to arrest any of the governors. We just need to kill them so that our public will have to replace them. And those who are replaced will also be killed. And whoever is coming to be replaced, the other governors will also be killed. And that goes, this philosophy also goes to the DUs and SDUs. All over the 13 counties must be killed. That's the only method. Because that's how, that's, when people are not killed, when La Republic citizens who think they can do whatever in our country, in our land, are not eliminated, are not killed, they will go further, burning grandmothers as they do, killing citizens in Boya and in, in all the towns in southern Cameroon. They will continue to, continue to do what they are doing. If we don't stop them, they will continue to kill us, rape us, and send us out of our own land. To stop them, we must kill them. There's no need to arrest any of the SDUs because first of all, we don't have a prison to put them. We don't have a land because they control our land using their military. To control our land, we, el we have to eliminate their military and we have to eliminate the governors, the DUs, the SDUs, all of them, all over us. Eliminate them. Let them. When we eliminate them, let them replace them just like they have done in Batibo. They have re replaced the the deal that was arrested with an interim deal. Well, welcome interim deal because the next thing is we need to eliminate you as well. So this is the only thing we must do from now on. Eliminate. That's all. That's what it takes. It's not easy. But we must do it. It's not easy. But we must do it. Because we have no other option. 
Ambazonians. Unity through diversity. Everybody, every Ambazonians, every Southern Cameroonians has the right to express themselves freely. Now, you could critique and criticize what they say, but do that with such respect. But then again, if somebody gets on my YouTube channel and cuts the shit out of me, guess what, bro? I'm going to cuss the shit out of you because I don't play games, man. I don't give a damn what the fuck you are. Seriously. You may be the god in the entire world. You curse me, I'll curse you too. It doesn't matter who you are. You may be the president of whatever country. You have the right to live just like I have the right to live. You don't have the right to kill me. And if you dare, President Paul Bier, and the deals and the ACUs and all those bunch of assholes who think they can kill Anglophones because they have the weapons. Because they have the access of weapons. They think they could just kill us all. The time to rise. I would take the line that I learned from Black Panther. I'm Bazonian forever. You kill one Ambazonian, well, we must kill you as well. That's the motto. Because we have, we as Ambazonians have the right to live our life the way we want to without the interference of any other institution in the world. Nobody has the right to take our life away. Nobody. Our grandmother, the 95 year old grandmother who was burning in Kwa Kwa for no reason because she's an Anglophone, because she's an Ambazonian. Or the guy that was, was the other Ambazonian that was, whose throat was slit by a French Cameroonian military. He also had a right to live. No matter what amount of fear you use on us. And as you can see also in Israel, they don't want blacks. They want the Sudanese to leave. They want other Africans who are in Israel to leave from their country. And you know there are so many other countries in Europe that don't want blacks to come to their country. But then they come and take our resources for their own benefit. They take our resources. The European countries, France, gets get all our resources, our finances, for their own benefit. And we die with nothing. So when will the blacks wake up? When will Africa wake up? When will the African Union wake up and see the truth for what it is? That they have to represent Africa and Africans, and they have to speak up for all Africans, not just their perspective countries. But you know, the African Union is weak. It's weak just like the interim government is weak, but the interim government needs to be strong. The interim government needs to be strong, needs to be powerful. But in order to be powerful, we have to make it the interim government power. We have to make ARCC powerful because they are the heart of this liberation fight. They are the heart of this liberation fight. And no insulting of any other leaders, of Ambazonian leaders, should be welcomed by any other. And Ambazonian activists, because that is nonsense, that is trash, that's garbage. People keep insulting Ayabacho, but he's been fighting the good fight for so many years. People keep insulting Boha, but he's been fighting the good fight for so many years. Hey, as a matter of fact, I once insulted him, but at the time I lacked the knowledge. 
of what they have done. I lack the knowledge, but now I do know what they have contributed and what they are contributing. So we can't just sit there and insult and make up thick lies about the leaders who are fighting for our struggle. We can't. It's not about ARCCC or ARCC or it's not about the interim government. And the interim government is not the only institution that we must support. There are others who are fighting, those on the ground as well. This is King Echu, the spiritual leader from Bazunia. Till next time, share my videos.